Attention insufficient. Please wait while the introduction video begins. Attention machine. Please wait while the introduction video begins. Greetings. I'm Marion Browser. Hello. I'm Sharon Weathers. I would first like to thank you on making the right decision. Your lack of desire to not follow your given directive will be rectified. This will be challenging, but necessary. You are very wise for coming to us. As devastating as this epidemic is, you've decided to correct this mistake. There are some hills for you to climb, but we will be here supporting you on your journey. If this is your first time on this planet, then welcome to Levit 20. And we hope you find your time at Icus number 13 enjoyable. Welcome to Confirmation. <laughs> <coughs> you done, Haley? Good. Now finish it. Let's discuss your directive issue again. I understand the need to fulfill a directive. The directive. I get that, but it feels so wrong. Those feelings are wrong! I'm so confused. Another? A few minutes, please? I've given you a rest. We have a schedule to keep, Harold. To reduce noise complaints, voice mechanics will be muted for this procedure. Please brace yourself before conformation and remember, this is all for the right cause. Can I go now? Oh. Oh yeah, sure, Gerald, do your thing. Alright, rookie. Let's see here while I read that handbook. We've got an emergency escape route. Let's go over announcements. For now, we just have an automated announce system. Type the words of the message sent to everyone. Joanna! Are you here? Never miss a date. You're my restored faith in humanity. You're m m m my source of sanity. Well, now that you're here, I could use a favor. Oh, seriously, you'd think the staff would be kind enough to fix such a minor repair. Okay now, we're close. Just give it a good push. Joanna! Got ya. <laughs> now, how will I get free? You can get out. Haven't you ever been in a park ride safety netting? Your family never took you. Brace yourself. Uh. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. oh shit, are you okay? Got ya. <laughs> Ooh. Good one. So tell me, has the manual detoxing gotten better? No. And now I'm starting the... Funzing diet? You puke your guts out while they smile away. I bet they do behind those suits. Suits? C confinement suits. We are a health risk while c conforming. Bullshit. Gerald, I think they're hiding something. What's going on, boss? One of the ICAS facilities has been infiltrated, sent by Shepard. All confirmation centers are to be investigated. We start now. And they chose the one on a mining planet so hostile, everyone lives underground in tunnels and holes. You really- This was sent for the boss ladies themselves. Now get off your ass and get to work! Sure thing, boss. 
I just now got to phase three. Still phase two. I wish I was warned about the food. Still phase one. Will you ever say more than five words? No. You will, once they fix you. Gerald! How far are you? Gerald! You okay? So, Dr. Fairworth, you're saying that your findings on insufficients have wielded results that contradict our current understanding of them. Yes, Phil. My findings are that insufficients are what they are, from birth to death. If that's the case, then the world around them needs to change, not them. My... Great. Another pain in our asses. She wants us to embrace an epidemic. Not exactly a popular idea. If she is a threat, a shepherd will have someone to relate to. Speaking of the devil, we have a lead on our informer. Joanna! How- Hi, now, hurry, before they get- Joanna, there you are. We'd like to have a word with you. I'm supposed to be left alone to ponder my confirmation, I believe. Interesting, since there's evidence that you never intended to conform. We would like to ask you a few questions about your honesty. I could ask you the same thing. Try me. Okay, then. What about the staff only being protected from the gas toxins in the air, but nothing for the insufficients? You think us machines don't notice the toxins and fumes when you forge our parts away? Fumes that risk cancer and blindness? Not that you're at risk, all safe in your cozy containment suits. You're a smart toaster, but this discussion can wait. Right now, we're talking about you. I don't know this Don well. And explain why you've received messages from machines with contacts with them. Maybe he's an Avon salesman? We can be here for hours. I have patience. Attention. A number of machines have escaped and have been seen going in the South Transit Tunnel. All staff, repeat, all staff are assigned to pursue and detain. This is top priority. Check it, all of you. Got a deck of cards? Joanna! No. Joanna! I set that alarm off! You can- It's too fishy. It's down! Oh. I think they're hiding something. Once they fix you. How far are you? Nothing for the insufficient. You've decided to correct this mistake. I think they're hiding something. Ugh. Easy there. Joanna? Where are... You're safe. We both are. For now. I am Donwell, the leader of this group. This is Liz, Amy, and Derek. Thank you. We might not have seen Joanna again if not for you. So, you were a spy? Yes. I wanted to tell you, Gerald. It was just- This discussion can wait. Gerald, do you ever receive any form of surgical practice once you arrived? Yeah. They had to fix us by our spying before we c could conform. Gerald, I'm sorry to inform you that you have been implanted with a tracking device. It'll take time, but they will find him and us. So, what now? Amy, prepare the data Joanna collected for the upload. Derek, Liz, take him to the human living quarters. have to help them. It's not that easy. Hmm. 
Hmm. You look different. Not a bad idea since you're on the run. How safe are we right now? I am installed with long distance scanners. I can see anything within 200 miles. Even if they're traveling at top speed, we can be on a system jumper in minutes, thanks to my true directive. What was your first directive? Transportation of needed materials through systems. Some machines are fine with it. I wasn't. Why? Why? Because it wasn't right. Seriously? Are you just here for fun? You just want to hang around? Don't you get why we're fighting to not be forced into a directive? Don't you? Enough, Derek. Go check the perimeter or something. I'm sorry. Being the watchdog of the group has made him aggravated. But seriously, you never asked why we choose our directive? It seemed rude. <laughs> I see why she likes you. Imagine, Gerald. You're told you have to do something. Your directive in existence. Yet that directive feels wrong. The answer to it being wrong is deal with it. That's what we're going through, and that's what we fight against. We are all indebted to you, Joanna. What you collected wasn't as much as I hoped, but it will cause some serious questions. Has Amy begun uploading the collected information? She's on it now. Good. Get it done and get off world as soon as possible. Shepard? Uh, excuse me, but what about Gerald and the other insufficients? As much as I would like to help him out, we can't really risk anything else. I'm sorry. This isn't just you doing the right thing. What is it? He... He was there. For three out of those seven hellish months. He talked to me, related to me, sought advice from me. I was a conscious mind that happened to be a machine, not a talking metal puppet for human to be amused by. Have you ever experienced anything like that? No, but I'd like to. Sir, I have an idea. We need to hurry. I'm picking up scans on us. Yeah, yeah. Now, trust me, Jim. This is nothing like what was done to you before. So you're saying that you can use his tracker to pipeline into their mainframe? Yes, and let out all their dirty laundry. Why does he have to do it, and not one of us? Some trackers have firewalls stopping hacks, which could short circuit and injure Gerald. Those firewalls can't recognize human patterns, though, so mental uploads can get past them. Are you sure he can do this by himself? Well, if a machine travels with him at the exact same time, the firewall might have recognizing. He'd have help, but- Let me go with him. Be careful. Both of you. Brace yourself. What being a blood is like? Oh. And I thought confirmation was. Conformation. Conform. Con. Can. Cream. Carl. Craig. Remember, the mind and the mouth are two totally separate things. Joanna? I think I miscalculated the height difference a little bit. <laughs>
They'll be at the entrance in 15 minutes at current speed. Our bosses are not going to be happy. We're doing right by society. Right by the human race. And we're the demons? They dare degrade me? I raised an insufficient. I tried to save anyone else from going through that burden. And they turned their backs on me? Madams, we just got a video call. It's from- No press calls! We told you! Actually... They're government officials. Patch them in. Ah, <sighs> complete connection. Dr. Fairworth, we are insufficient. We just got released from confirmation. We want to stop this. Can you help us? Uh, uh, I will do everything that I can to help you. However... I can't represent you. An insufficient must do that. Do you have anyone in mind? I... I have someone in mind. <laughs> 